Today we are going to talk about regarding the verse of Surah Nur, Surah number 24, Ayat number 26, which usually translates as women impure are for men impure and men impure are for women impure. Till the last of the ayah, what it actually implies and what is the uh, tafsir of this verse, meaning of this verse. So actually this ayat, this verse was revealed regarding Hazrat Aisha and uh, the people of the slander who put slander upon Hazrat Aisha and Safwan. So this verse is actually regarding her and the verse it uh, begins that Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nur, Surah number 24, Ayat number 26, Allah says that al khabisatu lil khabisina that is evil words, evil speech, bad words, bad talk, it is for evil men, it is for bad people, it is for bad people. Similarly, further the verse says, wal khabisuna lil khabisat, and the evil people, those who are inclined to such bad talk or such evil speech, they are all for such uh, evil speech for uh, Lil Habisat that they are all for this evil speech because they are inclined towards that such speech or such talk, bad talk. Similarly, further the Quran says that What tayyibatu lit tayyibina? What tayyibuna lit tayyibat? Allah says that the good words, that is the good speech, it is for the good people. It is for good people and similarly those good people what tayyibuna lit tayyibad they are inclined or they are all for the good speech or a good talk ulaika mubarra'una mimma yaqulun and these it it refers to this what tayyibun that is the good people that is the pure people that is and it refers ulaika to such people that they are these people, these good people, they are free from all such speech, from such slander, from the bad talk which people talk, talk about them. So this verse actually it refers to the slander which was, which was put forth upon Hazrat Aisha and this verse it clears such things that the, the such people those who are inclined towards such evil speech they are all for such speech and they take interest in such things and they put slander and they 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 make it known to other people they talk bad about uh, other people so that is uh, what it implies here so such people the evil people the bad people they are all for such bad talk they want they like that slander should be spread and they are happy about it so that is what the verse actually implies and the the other meaning which uh, usually people translate as that al uh, that the evil women are for evil men and similarly evil men are for evil women and good women are for good men and good men are for good women if people are, if you are to take this meaning that again it refers to the uh, purity of hazrat aisha that she was married to prophet muhammad and that implies her good character because she is married to prophet muhammad who is the best of mankind and she is married to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this actually implies that she is good because she is married to Prophet Muhammad So that is what tayyibuna lit tayyibat. So this may refer, this meaning may be taken like that, but the more correct is what I have implied because this refers to the talk which people uh, made about Hazrat Aisha and Safwan. They slandered about her chastity, about Hazrat Aisha. So this verse actually refers to that. Further, the word says, Lahum maghfiratum warisqun kareem. And for them is forgiveness. For these tayyibun, these good people, is forgiveness and riskun kareem and an honored provision near Allah. So, uh, one narration from Ibn Abbas that when he visited Hazrat Aisha, she was grieved and afraid to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then uh, Hazrat Ibn Abbas, 
he recited to her this verse and she became very glad after hearing about this verse that lahum maghfiratun wa rizqun kareem for them for these tayyibun that these good people about whom that this slander is put forth that for them is forgiveness and for them is honored provision so after hearing she became delighted so this is the actual meaning of this verse but if people translate this then it uh, such meaning has also been taken but it refers to that in that context only so hope this clears uma alaina illa al balagh al mubin